Are you a beginner and quickly want to become a better photographer? Here are five easy tips that help you become a better photographer quickly, without even learning anything at all. Ready to start? Here is the first tip that will make you a better photographer in no time. Take more images. Often people face a once in a lifetime opportunity and all they do is take one single image. When they come home and open the image on their computer, they find out that it was out of focus. Why only take one image? Since the invention of digital photography, taking two images will cost you the same, or 10, or even 100. Most professional photographers even take thousands of shots during a single shooting. Check out this series of images. We set our camera to burst mode and it took 10 images per second. We ran up and down and up and down and got 487 images within 10 minutes. In the end, we had around 20 keepers that turned out pretty well, and this one was our best. What chance do you think we would have had if we only took one image? Probably somewhere around 5%. More likely than getting a good image, we would have ended up with something like that. So this is just a statistical thing. Take more images will highly increase the probability to have the one or the other great shot. And that brings us to the second tip that will immediately make you a better photographer. Delete bad images. From these 487 images I mentioned above, many were out of focus, the wrong posture, too far away, too close, you name it. Now, there are people that would deliver all of those images to a client. Or there are others that would show all the images they take on their vacation to their friends and relatives. Let me tell you, all those bad images are going to dilute your good ones. People will think, what a bad photographer, he can't even get his images in focus. Or, that is so boring, what a mass of boring stuff, he's such a wannabe. But if you only select the 20 best of that series, and probably even less, or the 100 best images from your vacation to show to your friends and relatives, they will think, wow, every single one of them is perfectly sharp. What a great set of images. He's such a great photographer. And in the eyes of your audience, you suddenly became a much better photographer, even though you shot the very same images. Okay, here is the third tip that will make you a better photographer without even touching your camera only publish your very best work. You should have checked out the website of some great and maybe famous photographers and you thought, wow, every single one of those shots is just amazing. Well, the truth is, these photographers also produce quite a lot of not so great images, but they don't show it to the public. Remember our best image from the shooting with the 487 images? It was the best of that batch and it was a good one. But does that mean that I put it onto a website or Facebook page? Not really. I don't feel it is good enough because on the website we want to display only our very best work. This one, for example, from a different shooting is better. And that one would be our best running photo. So that's the one I choose to display on our website. You can find photographers that only have 5 to 10 images on their website, but those are top notch. Talking about displaying on your website, here is tip number 4 that will make you a better and more professional photographer without really learning anything about photography. Don't put ugly watermarks over your image. Lately I see many people whose biggest problem is not having their images stolen. I do understand that fear, but is it really better to just put an arbitrary sloppy watermark over your image? If you take good images, they are a piece of art, and your watermark should complement that. I'm not saying these examples are all that great, but I just quickly sat down in Photoshop and created these three. I, for one, don't fear that my images get stolen, otherwise I would not publish any of them. And if I find my images stolen anywhere, I can take legal action. That may make me even some good money. I wouldn't put a watermark on any of our images at all if it weren't for marketing purposes. But they have to be good to work for marketing. 
So, having a beautiful watermark that will complement your images will immediately make you appear like a much more professional photographer. And finally, here is tip number five that will make you a better photographer without even knowing any of the tech stuff. And that tip is totally different than the others. I like to call it see the beauty in everything. Because part of taking good images is to find nice subjects to photograph. You can practice that on your way to work, when you walk the dog, or simply when looking out of your window. See the beauty in decaying buildings where others see dirt. See the beauty in the eyes of a jumping spider where others see an ugly creature. See the beautiful ivy in an abandoned graveyard where others see sadness. Or the dreamy landscape where others see the fog. There is beauty in everything and seeing that will not only make you a better photographer but also a happier person. The same goes for photographing people. Everyone is beautiful in a different way. Some people are more beautiful in the conventional meaning of the word, like models, but others have much more interesting faces. Again, others have so much charisma that they literally radiate. If you want to become a good photographer, see all that in people and be their counselor while you take their pictures. Make them enjoy the shooting and have fun with them. Okay. Those five tips are probably the easiest you can get for becoming a better photographer. And yet they're probably more effective than learning any settings by heart. What do you think? Will these tips help you in becoming a better photographer? Or are you more the tech type? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. New tips and lessons are coming soon. If this video was helpful for you, please help us rank higher in YouTube searches by subscribing, leaving a comment or simply spreading the word.